what's so beautiful about what you just talked about, and, and that's what conversations with the universe are about, is the conversations come in all kinds of ways. And if we just pay attention to what's going on in the moment or what we're hearing in the moment, it's leading us to the next steps. And what you talked about is this, this experience of oneness that is starting to happen. And what I have interpreted over time is we start out unconsciously and we see these little tappings that we kind of notice and we think, huh, that's kind of interesting, that's showing up, it's showing up again. And we ignore it, we just pass it by. And then it starts to repeatedly show up, like my 1111 did, and then we start to really look at it and go, well, that's kind of a coincidence. It's showing up again, Uh, that doesn't mean anything. And then it starts to show up so much, or other things start to happen, and it becomes synchronicity. But we have kind of stopped at that point and said synchronicity is this magical thing, and don't you love when that happens? But now we are evolving into that next place, which is beyond synchronicity, and that's when we actually believe the magic is real, that we're so connected, and that what we're doing and how we're doing it actually affects everything else and is a mirror for everything else. That's oneness. Those Tim Horton bandits have moved beyond synchronicity, and they are an example or a mirror or conversation of oneness to all of us. And how beautiful is that if we would look at everything in that way as a mirror to show us who we really are? Because it's not just about the bad stuff and us identifying, okay, where is that in me? I need to identify that in my inner landscape so I can do my part to shift the outer. But look at this good stuff that's happening too. Where's that in me? And how can I amplify that so it increases the changes in the outer? So that it's, it's exciting what you just talked about. <laughs> 